Meet brand stylist and chief brand officer, Kate Obert. She empowers entrepreneurs to rediscover their style and feel confident, clear, and secure with their branding. She is fierce when it comes to mapping out the vision, strategizing and connecting the dots to curate a full sensory brand experience with ease. She services personal brands and multi-brands to elevate the brand perception to stand out in their market and become industry leaders. She has worked with fashion house brands, jewellery designers, digital creators and service-based providers that span across many different industries. Kate believes that creating a beautiful environment and living life like you're on vacation is just as important as the work you do, if not more important. And you achieve those things through your brand. Your brand is the vehicle that allows you to make the impact you were destined to make because you are your brand. What makes Kate so unique as a Chief Brand Officer is that she believes brands are meant to evolve and grow with you. It is her personal mission to empower you to create a brand that is so successful that you feel secure stepping away so you can live a life you don't need a vacation from. Kate's style is a juxtaposition of many styles, high-low, grounded and glam. She uses textures to create depth and dimensions, mixing patterns to create non-traditional ways to express style. She is known for elevating basics and creating a statement by balancing the unexpected. It's all about surprising the senses. This creates energy and conversation. Especially when something seems contradictory, that's when you should lean in and see where it takes you. Sometimes the most unexpected designs make you feel the most alive. Kate is all about pushing boundaries and breaking rules. She always says, what is everyone doing? What's the opposite? Is the opposite a strategy? Let's do that. It's all about telling a creative, unique story. Everything she touches turns to gold. She creates luxurious experiences that are also efficient. Each one of us is so unique and our brand should reflect that. One of her favorite ways to break the mold of traditional design is by playing with textures, mixing metals and mixing patterns. Kate is a visionary and has been dubbed the branding queen for the way she interprets fashion, culture, natural elements and draws inspiration from other industries to reflect and enhance her clients' brands. She helps her clients rediscover their style and accurately portrays that online to showcase who they are through personal branding. She then takes it to the next level by stimulating all of the senses in a signature full sensory experience. My first love is fashion. When I was a little girl, I would always be found in my mom's closet making her t-shirts, dresses, and pairing them with heels, necklaces, and accessories. At three, I knew how to take a basic tee and elevate it to create my own look. Fashion is very important in my work, along with creating an unexpected juxtaposed style. Everything around me educates my eye and influences my work. Any place I am, whether it's a coffee shop or a rooftop pool party, I'm taking in the architecture, the topography, the staff uniforms. Every single thing tells a story and makes you feel a certain way. My brand is how I interpret the world. And that is exactly what I teach clients to do, to show their audience how they interpret the world. Brand strategists are different from a chief brand officer. Their role is to conduct rigorous analysis and market research to understand customer behavior, then use that information to develop marketing strategies that raise brand awareness, drive customer growth, improve a brand's positioning, and generate revenue. They take the information that the CBO has given them, and then they formulate a detailed plan. But a lot of brand strategists you see in the online space aren't even that. They claim the title of brand strategist, but they're really just glorified graphic or web designers. They create what you tell them your brand is about, but what happens when you don't fully understand how to articulate your own style and brand? I tell you this because you need to be fully aware of the difference and what you need to look for. A chief brand officer helps to create the entire identity and perception of the brand and oversees every single touch point to make sure it's on brand. My role is to connect your dots and teach you how to understand and articulate your own brand so as you inevitably evolve as a person, you'll easily be able to evolve your brand on your own. Being on brand is easy and becomes second nature. 
After you truly understand the foundational elements, you will be well equipped to hire a brand strategist or a graphic designer to help bring that vision to life. But without these foundational elements solidified, this can create a lot of confusion, causing your brand to fall short. I had a client come to me who had been in business for 12 years with multiple brands, but she was feeling incredibly disconnected from all of them, which was, as you can imagine, affecting her sales. Over time, things had changed in her business, the world had evolved, but her brands didn't. She felt out of alignment and feared changing things because she didn't want to lose the customer base and the brand recognition that she had worked so hard to build. After 12 years, she never once revisited the foundational elements of her brand. And this is why foundation checks are so critical which you'll learn more about that shortly. When you are connected to your brand's foundation, your brand will naturally evolve and stay in alignment with you as you grow. To revitalize her brands, we revisited the foundational elements and got extremely clear on the story they each were telling. The foundation informed what the aesthetics needed to represent through the use of colors, graphics, and a full sensory brand and client experience that fully represented not only the client, but also the existing customer base and the direction that the brand was going. Branding is misunderstood. Most of these strategists are teaching that your brand is about colors, topography, or even how you make people feel. Those elements are only a small percentage of what a brand actually is. This way of thinking about branding will only leave you feeling confused, anxious, and disconnected to your brand and locked into a brand image that you've outgrown. When there is a disconnect in your brand, the problem is that you don't have a clear purpose of what your identity is, so the customer doesn't have a clue either. This could be when you're first starting to build your brand or after you've been in business for a while and evolved without any upgrades. You're spending all of this time, money, and energy on aesthetics that don't actually represent you or aren't built to evolve with you. When you focus on aesthetics, social identity, and strategies, both marketing and business, without a solid foundation, you completely miss the sole purpose of branding. Branding. Necessary is a step-by-step -step system that I created to teach you the fundamentals of building your brand in a way that allows you to evolve. It's about helping you rediscover your signature style while creating a brand image that is instantly recognizable and memorable. Building your brand doesn't put you in a box. On the contrary, making the fundamentals habit actually frees you up to be even more creative. The bar has now been raised. It is no longer acceptable to have a brand anything less than a full sensory experience. A brand is you, it's your reputation, it's your identity, it's how people perceive you, it's a gut feeling. A brand is a full sensory experience that represents you. Everyone interacts with brands every day. We identify ourselves with them. We allow brands to teach us about the world and brands are the leaders and yes, that also includes you. Brands help people communicate and connect. Your personal brand is a reflection of who you are now and your next version. Brands have many stories to tell. It's not just the origin story. And all of these stories should be told utilizing all of the senses. When you have the fundamentals down and understand your brand so clearly, it frees up space for you to be even more creative and take on more projects. How? Because your brain loves to be efficient. Once it learns the fundamentals and how it needs to operate, those things become habits, which then frees up precious real estate in your brain, empowering you to make a bigger impact. Brands have the power to unify. Brands can make a person feel connected to other people, which can then make them feel better about themselves. And when you feel good, you do good. Unlike religion and politics, among other subjects, brands give people who likely wouldn't relate have common touch points that unite us. And brands also have cross-generational power. The value of building your personal brand is that you have the ability to shift into different avenues of interest so easily due to your already built know, like, and trust factor. When you have a strong brand, people know what to expect, and then your name, your reputation, actually works for you. Let me give you an example of how I've created a reputation within my personal brand. I share about my life using social media, and one thing people know about me is that I love a mimosa. One day I got a message on Instagram from a follower. She told me she was on vacation with her family in Napa having mimosas and she thought of me. She started to interact with my content more and fast forward a month, she became a client. And here's why that happened. Because she DM'd me on Instagram, 
the way the algorithm works is that it sees she favors my content and begins to show her more of it. Brands help to build genuine relationships and utilizing the support from your style ambassadors is a way to take that to the next level. But I'm gonna teach you all about that in module two. To be on brand means that whatever you do is consistent and intentional with who you are. But this isn't to constrict you or cause you stress or make you feel stuck and feel like you can't change. If you struggle with the idea of being on brand, what that tells me is that you don't understand your own style and identity because every single thing that you do is on brand for you. Your style will overflow into every area of your life. No matter what you do, you'll end up leaving your mark. I help you understand and articulate your own style so as you evolve, so will your brand. You'll never have to ask yourself, am I on brand? Because you just will be. Evolving your brand keeps people interested, engaged, and growing with you. Personal branding is the future. Our reputations matter more than ever before. People actually decide to work with you based on who you are and how they relate to you. So when you're clear on your brand, you can show all the different sides of you, all of your multiple personalities, which will only naturally attract your ideal clients and the right opportunities to you. Everything and everyone is an experience. No detail is too small. This program will not only elevate your business, but it will elevate your entire life because the two aren't separate. Let's also highlight the use of social media. Think about how much information we consume and learn strictly from social media. It shapes our culture and our own personal style, as well as connects us with people all over the globe. Learning how to accurately portray yourself and your brand on social media is just as important as real life. People can't buy what they don't know exists. So the bottom line is utilizing social media for your brand so people that need you can find you. So here's what I'll be teaching you in necessary. One, the fundamentals of building a strong brand that stands out, has zero competition, and attracts your ideal clients with ease. Two, how to build a cohesive brand that represents all of you and allows you to evolve. Three, how to engage all of your senses through the art of branding. And four, how to rediscover your style, educate your eye, and be experiential. By the end of this experience, you will feel so certain, so secure, so confident, and incredibly aligned. So why do I care so much? I truly believe that this world can be more beautiful through branding. And through the act of branding and having success in your business, this will empower you to create a beautiful life you don't need a vacation from. I am so passionate about products and brands because every single item makes you feel a certain way. So there's a need to be intentional with every detail. You can have both function and beauty, and I'm an expert at making the connection between both. One tiny switch can change the entire environment and completely transform your reality and experience. What I'm teaching you is not only creating the fundamentals of building your brand, it's about finding your style, making an impact, having a more beautiful life experience, and creating space to evolve. Necessary is about empowering you to find your creative voice.